well, here we are. Um, we're on like day five, night five of our trip already. Um, we just arrived at the Flamingo Campground down in the Everglades. So it's nice. It's warm. It was 82 when we got here today. There's four inches of ice on the ground at home, so we're not missing that at all. It's a uh, Awesome campground, very spacious pull-through sites. Um, we're in the T-loop, or trailer loop, I guess they call it. Uh, electric only, 30 and 50 amp. Uh, nice bathhouses, they don't have hot water in the bathhouses. or It's intermittent, I guess, because it's solar. It's warm by solar. So. But just getting set up here for our first night. We're here for five nights. Gonna go out and explore the bay here with the boat. Do what we bought this camper to do, which is take the boat places and get on the water. So we're excited about that. Gonna enjoy fire. It's buggy, it's very buggy. Kinda expect that when you come to the Everglades, so. But tomorrow, hopefully we'll get out and do something exciting and get it all on film. I'm excited, so I'm excited to be on the water. I'm excited to get in the water, maybe some snorkeling. Just, anytime you can be on the water, maybe drinking a cold brew in the sunshine in February. It's a good day. What you doing, little one? Got Boo set up here in the clam. Appropriate air circulation. Can't keep the princess without airflow. You gonna drop it or not? Doodle, how do you feel about your first evening in the Everglades? <laughs> Bill, any thoughts? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, get me out of here. You ready for bed, baby girl? <laughs> this place is it's intense. There's a lot of mosquitoes. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of mosquitoes. What'd you expect in the Everglades? I know, I expected it, and it still surprised me. We we're Inside our screen dim clam outside with centronella candles burning and you look up and the whole roof like there's just like a hundred of them up there just hanging out so they're getting through the screen uh I guess this, the candle was at least keeping them up on top maybe so they weren't really biting us but it's buggy out there so sit around fires in the evening not gonna happen here. probably not gonna happen but yeah come inside and they're everywhere inside because <laughs> we were dumb enough to leave our screens so open. we're gonna keep this keep the doors windows closed run the ac this trip i think and uh it'll be good it'll be good go learn go learn on the plus side we got our truck camper figured out we are now able to use the dinette we managed to get all storage squared there goes Doodle. Managed to get all storage squared away on the dinette, so that's usable now, which is nice. Um, we're actually talking about taking the couch out now instead of the dinette, like I previously thought maybe. Uh, need some shelves, some drawers. wardrobe, closet or something, I don't know. Just drawers underneath. We can't put bench. drawers underneath. We had this talk. I know, but we can do drawers. And then we can do a bench on top of that. I know it's going to be really high, but at least it'll be a place to sit or lay. It still takes the couch out, though. It takes the couch out and adds drawers and adds a top across that right. we can I sit or that. lay on. But the couch still has to come out. Yeah, but it's not like no wardrobe or anything like that. No wardrobe, just drawers. Yeah, okay. because we're not going to cover She says no wardrobe, just a bench with drawers underneath. So. We don't want to cover the window. There it is. The next DIY project. <laughs> Hashtag... Truck camper life. As if we don't have enough DIYs. Well, here we sit. Morning number one of our five day trip into the Everglades. We are at the Flamingo Campground, like I said last night. Really nice place. It's awesome. It's just, man, the mosquitoes are something else. But, uh, 
doing everything we can to combat them. We got off, we got fogger for the yard, we got the clam, we got candles, <laughs> but they're still uh, they're still getting to us. But we're gonna be all right. It's 80, gonna be 80 degrees out today, so we'll manage. Uh, the setup here, we got the boat up here in front of the clam, the clam, which is essential, I imagine. Uh, if you're gonna come down here, I would not come down here without something like that. We got the rig, obviously. And that's about it. Got some kayaks under the camper that we loaded onto the boat and brought down with us. We haven't used them yet, but we're still early on in the trip. So we're spending about three weeks in this bad boy. It's our first long trip in it. We've done like five day trips in it, but nothing this long before. So, so far so good. We're on night number, last night was five or six, I don't know. But we're in Everglades for a few days and then we're gonna head into Homestead and take, check out Biscayne, I think that's how you say it, Biscayne National Park, do some snorkeling hopefully. And from there we're gonna head up to Tomoka State Park and then we gotta stop in South Carolina, so excited. Plan for today, get some breakfast, got some bacon frying up, a little bacon and eggs, get something in the stomach. And maybe get a little run, a little run in, and then take the boat out and see what this place is all about. Here chilling with the pterodactyls. Your, what, oh no, I do need to do it. There's a doodle. I had to do a quick run out of the park, approximately 11 miles to give Verizon cell service. 11 miles. 11. <clears throat> so wow. we're at Nine Mile Park or Nine Nine Mile Pond. So, and service is relatively decent here. So, but you get some spotty spots about seven miles back. But. Stay here, dudes. But it wouldn't matter if it wasn't for work, but it's all good. Drive out here once a day and probably check. But I guess, uh, I think they, they say AT&T AT yeah, right. has service in the, in the campground, but 11 miles out ain't too bad to get. Look out. Guess not. Anything exciting <laughs> to say? No, I don't think so. I think I'm good, ready to get back and get on the water. Yeah, Do something run exciting. and get the boat out and have fun. Shaka. What are you doing, girl? You not getting out of the truck? No. All right. I think that's her favorite spot in the world is riding in the damn truck. Huh. <laughs> she don't like to get out of it, does she? <laughs> Doodle's ready for an adventure. So we finally made it out here on this boat and uh, launched it along the wrong ramp the first time and found out that's not where we wanted to be. We launched it this one and Trying to get through the channel, that's a whole two foot deep. From where, where we're from, there is not two foot water. It's like 20 to 30 to 40 to 50, and then to 120. So, being in two foot of water and just seeing boats rip around on plane, which I know there's less boat in the water that way, but it blows my mind. We'll figure it out though. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's on. I can see you. You see, get him out of there. Oh, he's cute. Well, by some struck of dumb luck, <sighs> managed to catch a fish. Looks like some kind of trout, a little sea trout or something. I don't know. It could be completely wrong, but it's awesome. That's all we were wanting today. <laughs> 
cool. Oh, your battery's getting low. <laughs> oh, it might be. Oh, shoot. It might be a big one. I don't think it's that big. I you don't? I don't know oh. what the hell that is. Wow. You want the net? Oh, it looks like a catfish. Sounds like a catfish, too. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, some kind of catfish, I think. Oh. Don't bad. fight like a freshwater catfish. All right, fish number two. Come oh, on. he's got a, look at that wild fin on top. I know, some kind of catfish it looks like. We have no service, so we can't look up anything. We don't know what That's we're catching. That's cool. Like, I would like to probably eat this guy because catfish is amazing. I would like to eat that trout if that's what that was. But we'll just keep catching them instead. Well, it's about five o'clock here on the beautiful. What are we calling this bay? I don't know what this bay's called. I don't know what it's called either. We'll the Everglades Bay? I don't know. Um, it's a great, good day. It's like 80 degrees and sunny, and out here on the water, caught a few fish. We don't know what the hell they were, but we're guessing some kind of trout and definitely some kind of catfish. So. We're gonna head back in. It's probably gonna take us about an hour because we have to idle through the channel because we're scared to go. Like bats out of hell. 20 mile an hour, 25 <laughs> miles an hour through one foot of water. So we'll go idle safely through there. Damn. Get back to the camper. Good day.